In this video, we're gonna cover all the gear you need to have a great day out on the hill. This is really my snowboard outfit. I've got my jacket, my pants, as well as a belt. What I look for in jacket and pant outerwear is something that's waterproof and breathable, but designed specifically for skiing or snowboarding. Powder skirt, as well as ankle gaiters, keep that snow away from the skin. I then look towards my gloves and mitts so that I've got something for those warmer days, as well as something for those cooler days. For my hat and beanie, I've got a hat for off the hill, as well as one for underneath my helmet. For goggles, I like the easily interchangeable lenses so that I have a low light lens for those overcast days, a mid lens for partly cloudy days, and then a dark lens for those sunny days. That also reminds me that I never want to forget my sunglasses. Usually when you're out snowboarding, you're going to be at those higher elevations, so you want to protect those eyes. Some of the other things I have is my mid-layer, one which I'm wearing right now, which is a poly fleece. I also want to wear a good pair of base layers. These base layers are non-cotton, something that'll keep me warm, but if they do get wet, they're not going to make me cold. And then that final element is a good pair of snowboard socks. These will allow your feet to move while not creating hot spots. With the outerwear and clothing taken care of, now we can take a look at the accessories. A full-size snowboard tool is great to have to keep in your car. While out on the hill, I like to have a pocket tool, that way I can make some quick adjustments if needed. To protect from the wind, snow, and sun, I like to have a good quality neck gaiter, as well as just a traditional handkerchief. Some other sun protection, sunscreen, as well as lip balm, will really help keep you safe while you're up at those higher elevations. And then for those storm days, make sure to have a chamois or a goggle wipe in your pocket. You never know when you're gonna get hungry, so keep that energy up by having a power bar or energy bar in your pocket. And I always like to rock out, so headphones are one of those key components of my kit. The last few accessories are don't forget your pass to get up the lift. And then you never know what's gonna happen out on the hill, so always have an ID, your insurance card, and some extra cash on hand. Now let's take a look at some personal protection equipment that can help you feel more comfortable and help keep you safe while out on the hill. First thing is the helmet. Helmets are really great to wear to avoid those head injuries. One of those things that you definitely hear a lot about in the news these days in regards to our sports. For me, I like to wear just a small beanie and a stripped down helmet with my goggles underneath. Really helps me feel more comfortable while out on the hill while still rocking my helmet. One of my go-to pieces of PPE is my shin and knee guards. These, whether I'm riding in the park or riding in the trees, it can help avoid shin injury. And also, if it's icy out there and you take a fall on those knees, this will keep you riding for another day. For those beginner riders, a lot of times people look towards wrist guards in case you haven't really learned to fall safely. These can help protect from wrist injuries. And then hip and tailbone protectors. If you find yourself falling on your rump quite a bit, these will help protect and keep yourself moving. Another element is a spine protector. Generally you'll see freestyle riders using spine protectors or potentially the whole upper body padding so that if they're taking big hard falls, they can take those hits and they're not gonna hurt their back. I recommend you ride with the protective gear that keeps you the most comfortable out on the hill. Last but not least is your boots, your board, and your bindings. Now that we're all geared up, let's head out on the snow. My name's Doug and this video has been brought to you by Thrive Snowboards. Be sure to check out the gear on thrivesnowboards.com as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel for information on selecting your board and mounting up your bindings.